You're excited about your fun-filled vacation in Israel, where you can kick back and relax surrounded by people like yourself, if you're of the correct ethnic religious category. But uh-oh, are you worried that your fun-filled vacation will be ruined by all those millions of refugees who are not of the correct ethnic religious category, returning to their homes and making your ethnic religious state not an ethnic religious state anymore? Well, no need to fear. We've kept them out for over 66 years and and counting. In 1948, we drove out hundreds of thousands of them, some of them literally into the sea, so we could establish our ethnic religious majority. We buried hundreds of their villages, and we passed laws right away to confiscate their land and prevent them from returning so we could establish our ethnic religious majority. When they tried to return, we shot at them to establish our ethnic religious majority. When they even talk about returning home, we tell them they're trying to destroy us, and they are. If they return home, what will happen to our ethnic religious majority. We drove out more of them in 1967, but we didn't stop then. We're still driving them out. Since 1967, we've demolished 25,000 homes, confiscated 750,000 acres, cut down 800,000 olive trees, and moved 500,000 of our own people of the correct ethnic religious category into settlements on that land we confiscated. That's apartheid on the move. Israel's apartheid is a growth industry, and if you're of the correct ethnic religious category, there's always a ground floor to get in on. So don't worry, your ethnic religious majority is safe. Not only are we stopping those refugees from returning, we're making sure even the ones still here have less and less and less. Keeping your ethnic religious state an ethnic religious state an ongoing apartheid adventure.